Whoa. Hello everybody. Welcome back to Boneworks. We're up to the warehouse level now. This is my third attempt at recording this level. Fourth attempt. Been having some technical problems, but uh, I think they're sorted. We'll see. Anyway, <laughs> let's uh, let's go take care of this friend first. And no, oh, yeah. <laughs> Why did he take so long to take out? Anyway, I'm gonna grab that. There's some ammo up here. So now this area, right? It's a warehouse, you know. It, it's clearly in the grand scheme of this world, Mythos. Look, we can see here is a hotel. So we we can conclude that that door leads back to like civilian areas of Mythos. And there's more like living quarters here and stuff. And then this leads into the warehouse and a train station. It looks like this is for, you know, facilities, for management, for cleaning, that sort of thing. And we've got a uh, good old monomat over here with a bunch of stuff, including a battery, which is interesting. We'll need the battery later. But uh, first off, there's a box up there, and I don't remember what's in that. So. <laughs> I'm going to climb up there, and we're going to see what's in that box, because it might be a weapon. If it's a weapon, I'm, I'm going to be happy, because I really like the special weapons you find in boxes. So, um, I'll just go up the thing, up these conveniently placed pipes and ledges, and there. And see, there's another, another little message left for us by whoever it is who's been leaving all this graffiti telling us where to go and where not to go. As we progress through the game, as we get closer to the end, it may or may not become slightly clearer who has been leaving those messages around the place. There we go. Nearly made it. And uh, it speaks to the wider plot of this game. I nearly there. Am I over the, ah, I'm over the ledge. Cool. Okay. That's interesting how the spotlight's just kind of floating there. Anyway, uh, let... Ooh, no, there's nothing in there. And... Uh, yep. Whee! Oh. Well, okay, it's not a weapon. It's... It's one of the Ford dudes, but with a head crab on him. We haven't encountered them in the game yet. But we will. <laughs> They're gonna come up later. No. Stop. Not this way. Do not enter. Leave. Stay away. Well, sorry. We gotta go forwards. Hey! So, everyone's kind of freaking out over here. Uh, there's a rumor from security that somebody broke into the complex and coordinated a breach in myth. I don't know why, or who would even know how, but uh, I think it's an inside job. I mean, these Saber Lake private security guys are not to be trusted. So once you've reset the clock, we'll be able to get a better picture of what's going on. Yep. <laughs> He's... So the lady, she figured out what Ford is up to. He has noticed what's happening, doesn't realize that it's Ford doing it. Now we get these two different sides of what's going on. So here's where we would put the battery to open that door. But um, we're not going to do that just yet, because I don't want to buy the battery. We're gonna come around here. We're gonna go around the building to back uh, to the back door. There's there's lots of stuff to see, and there's also is this a weapon? No, it is ammo. That's fine. That's fine. I the, the ammo's great. But um, uh, yep. Okay. Handy dandy light is pointing us. Oh hey guys, pointing us to where we need to go. Would you guys like to um? have a wrench because uh, I've got a wrench if you'd like it no you don't like it it's fine I don't like my wrench fine whatever so so this is gonna be our bridge later on Whee! <laughs> I don't know if you guys can actually see my feet I don't know if the like the if the field of view is big enough that you could see my feet then uh, I hope you could yeah, this is one of the things that I love about this game, right? There are multiple different ways to tackle each level. Now, 
in my opinion, this is just good game design. You know, give the player freedom, give the player options, even if the ultimate goal is the same. Because our goal is over that way, and where we started is over there. That doesn't really change, right? But the way we accomplish that can change depending on our own skills, or what things we've picked up along the way, all sorts of stuff. All sorts of stuff. Like, if I was doing a speedrun, okay, let's see if I can, see if I can get up here, no, 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 oh crap, oh, no! Huh. Alright. <laughs> okay, let's, uh, let's do this a bit smarter. I think I can grab onto this. No, no I can't. Okay, well, I know it's possible to get up there. It's just like, yep, if I just do, yeah, no, 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 y yes, okay, woo, thank you. Yeah, if I was doing a speed run, potentially I could use this tower to just jump over the wall, because there's a wall there, that's what we need that bridge for, right? But we're not ready for that area yet. But, uh, oh, <laughs> wee, I'm going to grab... Yeah, we'll be in there in a minute. And I get all this ammo first. Or at least, you know, send the ammo boxes down there for me to get later. And then we're going to head back over that way. Oh. Right. If you were so inclined. Nice. You know, you could use this path and just go in one of these windows. It's like... You could even buy the battery from the vending machine, climb up here and put it in there, bypass the inside of the factory entirely. Whee! I think that's all the- oh my gosh, I think that's all the ammo. So normally, right, if you were doing this in the way that the path is intended and you didn't buy the battery, you'd come here, right? Ooh, okay, come on, yep, yep, come, come on. Come on, there we go. Thank you. I thought so. Uh, yeah. right. Whoop -a. Whoop -a. And I believe. Yep, there we go. Oh, that's not gonna go in there. That goes in there. Ah. <laughs> I love the fire axe. It's, uh, whoops. It's not the best at breaking boxes. Like, the, um, the sledgehammer is the absolute king at breaking boxes. But it's still pretty good, you know? So I'm gonna, whoop, don't get that stuck there. I'm gonna keep that with me. And now we're back around here to the start. And we'll pop the battery in with the battery go. There it is. Thank you. Okay. And now we're, hello, now we're inside the, uh, the warehouse. I didn't mean to grab that. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. And jump. Oh, I kind of missed him. What about you? You, you want to give it a go? You want to give it a go? You going to jump? Jump. Nice. <laughs> That's one of them dead. You gonna jump? You gonna jump? Oh, you're gonna fail to jump. I see. Okay. <laughs> Come on. Oh, you failed as well. Okay. Nice. There's that ammo box that dropped through the. Hello. Through the uh, through the skylight there. Oh, okay. Oh, I didn't realize you could wake him up. Um, there's another battery. We are gonna need. We are going to need that. Okay, he's trying to get out, but there's stuff up there that I want to... But... And, uh, yeah, I know there's boxes of ammo, like, there that I'm bypassing, but that's all right. You can see them. They're not exactly a secret. I don't really need them right now. Whee! <laughs> I think that might be a trick. It was a trick! <laughs> and... Ah, lovely. What have I got on this shoulder? Wrench. That's better, thank you. A couple more ammo boxes there. Whee! Ah, now, 
That pipe is just going to keep spewing these little guys out. I think it stops eventually. But for... Oh, I don't think there's going to be too many. This should be pretty straightforward. Take you out. No, no, no uh oh. Oh, Ooh, that's... Okay, that's... That's... That's a few more than I thought. Thank you, slow-mo. There's one. Can I get him? Oh, yes. I think that one's dead. Uh, God, slow-mo is pretty. Why am I crouching? Oh, jeez. Oh. <laughs> what if I do it like this way? Boop! Boop! <laughs> I had no idea you could interact with the shell casings while they're in the- Oh my gosh, there's another one! Boop! Come on, ammo please. Ammo please! Oh, in slow motion your hand moves so weird. No! No! Okay. I think that's all of them. I think that's all of them. A few moments later. Right, sorry about that. I'm going to get my hands back on. There was somebody at the door. There was a delivery that I wasn't expecting today. <laughs> so, I'm fairly certain this button would have stopped them if I'd come in here, but, uh, you know, instead I stuck around and fought them all. I love this thing. Favorite gun. Favorite gun. All right, what else have we got? What else have we got? Ooh. So, all right, we have several experimental new test batches ready to go. As long as the null men don't do anything stupid, we can keep selling them melon extract. The null don't seem to understand the value of raw material, and we can use this to our advantage. Wait, can they read? So that's in the that's in the warehouse here. It would sort of lead one to think that okay, whoever was working here was um, what's a sleeping bag. So whoever was working here was also sleeping here in VR, and <laughs> they were trading with the null men. They were giving the null men melon extract which the Null Men were then using to make Melon Belly. Now, whether the people here who were trading with them knew that's what they were using it for or not, I have no idea. Possibly. It's also possible that they, the people working here knew what it was being used to make. And they were... Because look, there's a barrel of it right here. So it's entirely possible that they were using the Null Men to make Melon Belly for whatever reason. Like, maybe they wanted to... Maybe they were part of the group of people who wanted to overthrow Monogon. And so they were helping the Null Men. See, look, it's right here. It's in the warehouse, the bottling facility. So, yeah. Maybe they taught the Null Men how to make it or something. But though, no, we know that Lava Gang... We know that the Lava Gang taught the, the, uh, the Null Men how to make it. So... Maybe, maybe two groups of people concurrently learned how to do it. These guys and the... Oh, hello. Hello! Thank you. Um, <laughs> these guys and the Null Men. Oop. Okay. Whee! More ammo. Thank you very much. Ah, there's the one I dropped off the roof. Oh, that, that was a bad jump. Let's try that again. There we go. What do we have in here? <laughs> Another 1911. Cool. Love it. Love it. Okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. Onwards. I oh, got. Hey. Oh. So there is a way back if you decide. Hey, wait. I think I missed something. There's also for some reason a ladder on this side and the pipes. I don't quite know why, 
but maybe that's like you jump from there to there to get over the wall or something. I, I don't know. I don't know. So, melons over here, you say. Okay. Okay, here we got a bunch of null men making melon belly by the looks of it. Uh oh. Right. <laughs> Being attacked. Being attacked by the little crabbies. I, I better help. I better help. I better help. That's not working. Maybe I can. I've got to get in there and help them. The poor buggers. Come on. Oh dear. Oh dear. <laughs> They're not doing well. I'm gonna get that in the right, in the right hand. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh, hello. So he's. Where are you going? Oh, he's going after the other, uh, the other head crab. Uh, 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 oh crap! <laughs> no, get off! Thank you. Chop. I love slow motion in this game. I have said it a lot, I know, but I love slow motion in this game. Wait, can <gasps> where'd you come from? Nope, no, 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 no. You little rotter. Wait. I can hear another one. I can hear another one. Are you behind these boxes? Yeah, you are. There we go. Okay. Uh. You know. Okay, door won't open. I'm pretty sure I know how to open that door. I think we've got to go around. Hey, look! Another Uzi! The game is desperate to give me Uzis! What is going on? Let's check up the stairs before we do anything else. I... <gasps> I knew I could hear another one. Okay. Um, I'm gonna... I'm gonna... <laughs> cool, I'm gonna grab that later. <laughs> yeah. Hi. Yeah. There's another ammo box up there. We don't need that right now. What I do want, though, is down here. So in that, uh, whoop. In that box. That box is a fun toy. Oh. <laughs> uh, in that one, in that box, I think there's just a. Uh, it's just a geometric shape. This, this is what I wanted. Oh, there's stairs. Oh, um, uh, where am I going to put this? There. Cool. I didn't realize there were, not stairs, there's a ladder. I didn't realize there was a ladder here. Why am I glowing? Hmm. We're not going to go that way. I know this is kind of like, I'm kind of going all over the place here, but this level has so many different ways to do it. So many different things in it. I'm trying to show as many things as I can, and so mm, instead of just picking a path and going down that one path, I'm trying, as is the entire point of this series, I'm trying to I'm trying to show you guys as much of this game as I can. And so to do that I do kinda need to go around in circles a little bit. I'm trying to do it as uh methodically as possible just so there's not too much wasted time you know but I'm um not the most methodical person wait why am I why am I using these I've got this <laughs> um, hang on there's meant to be a there's meant to be a null man standing right here oh well you'll do okay I'm gonna try this out on you yeah. what you survived <laughs> Wow, what's with my aim today? Alright, alright, here we- Oh, there's the other one, they killed him already. What are you guys doing over there? Weirdos? I- 
I am missing far too many shots for my liking. So this little area, this section of this level is uh, kind of tricky if you're doing a, uh, a melee only run. Well, I am normally a much better shot than this, he says confidently. Oh, his head isn't where it should be. That's why I'm missing him. Sometimes their holograms break a little bit. But yeah, this section... Oh, hello. There's another one. Come on, come out. There you go. This, um... Yeah. The best way to handle this section if you're doing a melee-only run is just to sprint through, make a beeline for the train, get on the train, and hit the button. They spawn in here, so get in here and press this button. And then you're pretty much safe. You can press this control and head off to the next station. Before we do that... So this, this is one of the train stations. We, we really don't get to see many of these throughout the game because we got kind of locked out of them. But here is the, like, the mass transit. We've seen these before in the game, but here is one, you know, actually on its quote-unquote tracks. You know, because they hover. You know, they're... These things. They're, um... Warning. Do not exceed lift capacity. It's a virtual world. How is anything on a capacity? Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. I remembered. Oh, but I didn't remember to reload. Here's one of the secrets of this level. What are you? What are you? That's a... Is that a crabby or is it a king crab? I think it's just a crabby. But still, that's one of the spots where... You know, unless you're really paying attention, you miss these things. And I think there is... Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, pretty sure I've already got that, but... You know, just in case... I'm gonna chuck these in the uh, reclamation bin. It's just a habit, right? I don't need this ammo. I don't need to put things in these bins. But I know there's a few items from the game that I have missed. So who knows, maybe I'll find one of them during this series and as long as I'm putting everything in the bin, I won't miss it again. What? Away we go. And... Emancipation Field. <laughs> this is so cool. I love this. Oh my god, I love this game. Ah, here we are. We have arrived at MythOS Central Station. We'll have a look at the map over here. Information, MythOS Station, that's where we are now. Tower Direct Line to Tower Station, that's where we want to go. That's our destination, Tower Station. Warning, please notify authority of any suspicious geometry or incinerate at own risk. <laughs> okay. But anyway, ladies and gentlemen, that was the warehouse. I'm pretty sure I covered everything that there is in that level. That door wasn't open before. Oh right, I don't have a gun. Uh... Hmm. Hello? Oh my gosh. Is this just meant to be a creepypasta door? Oh, it was you! You knocked it open! Okay, anyway... <laughs> uh, anyway, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for watching. I hope you're enjoying this series so far. There's only, what, four levels left of the game? I have a suspicion that this level is gonna be a long one, so I might split this into two like I did for Sewer. We'll see how we go. There's a lot of things to see in this one again. There's lots of different paths to follow, there's lots of different loops, but we'll see how we go. But anyway, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. This episode was brought to you by my very generous patrons.